So before we begin with the next session, I'd just like to explain to the audience what's going to happen now. Um, we have today a total of three startup pitches. Those pitches are going to be timed to exactly three minutes. So our presenters have three minutes to present their business idea, themselves their business idea, uh, and, and what they're uh, trying to accomplish with it. Uh, in the background, we also have our judges who will be evaluating these startups. And at the end of that session, so at the end of the three minutes, you will then hear from the judges who will have an opportunity for a question and answer with the entrepreneur uh, presenting their business ideas. So you'll hear uh, also direct questions and feedback to that particular pitch. Okay, I see that um, we have our first startup. Owen Sakawa. It was, I believe, ready to go. Um, Owen Sakawa is the founder and CEO of RepairNet Inc. in Kenya. Um, RepairNet is a trusted mobile auto repair service in Kenya, which is dedicating to fixing cars at total convenience and with total transparency. Uh, they also have the advantage of they actually come to you in order to do that. If you'd like more information about the company, please check it out at repairnet.io. Let's see if Owen is ready with his presentation. I don't see much happening right now, so I will mention that for those of you who have been posting some of some of the questions that unfortunately we're not able to get to, we will do our very best to answer those later. As you can see, we're trying to keep to a fairly tight timetable in order to get all of the keynotes and panel discussions in. Okay, there's Owen. So, hello, Owen. Hi. Good to see you. It looks like your presentation is ready. So, I've already made the introductions. Good luck. Let's hear about RepairNet. You've got three minutes. Sure, thank you. Thank you, thank you guys for, for having me today. My name is Owen Sakawa, and uh, I am the founder and CEO of RepairNet. RepairNet is a mobility platform of the future, built uh, to help starting to help the consumers or rather car owners get certified mechanics in, by pressing just their phone buttons in less than 60 seconds. So the auto repair industry, as it stood for many years, it uh, met with a lot of skepticism. With uh, a lot of car owners being unable, being unable to get certified mechanics wherever they are. And uh, when a bill is presented, uh, the trust level grows. So these are infrequent scenarios whereby car owners do not get transparency, uh, convenience, and also do not have uh, availability of mechanics at the, at, the, at the right time. So with RepairNet, we will flip the industry on its side by disrupting the car repair experience to make it more convenient, transparency and customer centric. We take the measure to pair you with the best mechanic in your convenient location, book an appointment and make sure you get your car fixed at your chosen location. So how do we do this? Uh, with RepairNet, all you have to do is uh, submit the make, model and location of your car, describe the car problem and instantly you're given an quote by the platform, enabling you to be able to pair with a certified mechanic in your chosen location. The auto repair industry in Africa is huge with at least 48% of car owners who prefer mobile mechanics rather than going to garages. It's estimated at $900 million annual revenue with 80% out of warranty cars on the road. With the changing consumer habits of enabling technologies like web and smartphones, we are seeing a shift in this industry and RepairNet will be leading the way in the mobile auto repair services by offering you a convenient way to get your car fixed. The repair industry has about uh, 5 million cars in Kenya, and repair net opportunity will be 135 million uh, annual revenue by the end of 2020. We make our money by deducting a 15% transaction fee from our business partners and our mechanics. Um, our car owners and mechanics love our services. For example, the last six months during our inception, we've been able to acquire 1,600 mechanics and 16,000 car owners, growing in revenue, making monthly revenue of $162,000 monthly. The, the competition is stiff, and RepairNet will differentiate ourselves by offering on-demand mobile services wherever you are, whenever you want, and we offer you free and fair transparent quotes instantly. 
We are backed by one leading expert of domain expertise, both from our founders and our advisors, who are leading experts in their own field, both in the software and automotive industry. And we're projecting to make up to 48 million in sales by the end of year two. And we expect to be very, very profitable by making $200 million worth of revenue by the third year of operation. During this uh, season, we were raising $500,000 uh, CDA, Series A fund of raising, and for us to be able to reach 48 million worth of sales, refine marketing strategies, acquire customers, and as well scale our infrastructure. In summary, what are we trying to say? Repairnet is also known as a mobility platform, is conveniently helping car owners be able to get reliable mechanics wherever they are, whenever they want, and save up to 30% out of repair costs. We are initially targeting the 900 million Kenyan market for mobile auto repair. We make our money by collecting a 15% transaction fee from mechanics. We acquire customers primarily through online and digital marketing, and we get a five times return on our customer acquisition costs. We have an experienced team with deep domain expertise. We have a patent technology pending. We have a fast mobile market advantage. And as I said, in our first six months of operation, we've been able to make $162,000 worth of revenue, and it's doubling every, every single day. Our growth strategy looks like this. We will still continue working with online and referral programs, whereby we have segmented it into three parts, whereby we have the sales and marketing, customer acquisition, and development projects. So thank you, and that's the end of my presentation. Thank you very much, Owen. I think we would now like to move over to some questions from our judges. Let's see if I can introduce them as they show up. You will see in the on the screen both Axel and Marita Schulz. Axel, we've already met, of course, and Marita making her first appearance today as co-founder of the World Innovations Forum. Also joining us is Thomas Kern. Hello, Thomas. So we have Switzerland and Kenya on the phone right now. And it looks like we're going back over to some of the uh, important financials from the slide. Um, may I hand over the questioning to our judges? <laughs> Axel. Yeah. yeah. Hi, Owen. Looks like Hi, a great Axel. company that you're building. Um, Thank you. Very impressive data points. So let me ask you, the 16,000 users in just a few months, how did you do that? What was your go-to-market strategy to aggregate all these users? So we had, I had, we had set up a very interesting go-to-market strategy whereby we would start with influencer marketing so that we can be able to create a buzz or rather necessary noise in the market. We are trying to make repairment a household item whereby every time a car owner has a problem, won't even think about going to garages to negotiate. But all they will have to do is just going to their smartphone, logging into the platform, and being able to get mechanics in real time. So our go to market strategy involves influencer marketing and a lot of digital marketing and referral marketing. OK, that doesn't really explain the question. Sorry if I ask again. Uh, so what what is it? I mean, digital marketing, I understand. So, But what is it what you particularly do? I mean, 16,000 users, so this is about um, between 500 something users a day or 100 something users a day. So, so what are you actually doing? What is the concept that you aggregate so many users uh, every day? So as I mentioned, we are using digital marketing platforms to get referral, referral marketing to our current users. So what we do is we offer coupons and discounted services to our current users, offering them a cheaper option of getting their car repaired by allowing them to refer us to their relatives, to their friends. At the same time, we've been able to acquire a lot of the customers through strategic partners. Okay, thanks. Okay, mm -hmm. I think Axel might have one or two questions as well uh, a bit later, but let's go to Marita. Okay, thanks also from my side. Great uh, presentation. Owen, I, I see in regards of the big amount of mechanics you have in your ecosystem. It, how do you define quality and what is the issue if something goes wrong with the repair? Is RepairNet responsible 
in regards of fallout with the card totally or how are you protected working with that big amount of so to say freelance uh, repair shops thank you so much maria for the question so repairnet offers a three months guarantee on all the services performed by the platform so if your car has been serviced today you automatically be eligible for a three month warranty whereby in case anything goes wrong with the service that we offered all of our mechanics will be able to be dispatched to your site and work on the problem free of charge in terms of how we acquire our mechanics or rather how we test our mechanics one of our partners is uh, called aa they are the ones who are able to do certification of our mechanics so the onboarding process for mechanics is pretty simple a mechanic is allowed to upload the information on the platform and then we will do a thorough background check having our own in-house engineers giving them different kind of hypothetical scenarios so that we can be able to test on their quality and their experience of course we work with at least five years of experienced mechanics who are able to offer quality services thank you very much Okay, thank you very much, Owen, and also Marita for the question. Thomas, can we move to you? Yes, sure. Uh, thank you, Owen, for the great presentation. I had the question about the team. Could you tell a bit more about the team and uh, who is behind uh, RepairNet? Sure. Um, so the, the RepairNet team is founded of four people. I am the lead founder. I'm the founder and CEO of RepairNet, whereby we have. Uh, this minute I share the slide. No, never mind. So the repair team is founded with uh, four people, myself, Owen. We have Chevy Go. Chevy Go is our digital marketing, a chief marketing officer. He's, uh, he has about 18 years of experience in various startup industries. We have Teddy Deroge. Teddy Deroge is our Chief Operations Officer with at least 15 years of experience in the marketing in the African region, former having been the managing director or rather the country director for ESET uh, for the past four years. And then we also have our CTO based in Indonesia, uh, Gilang Apriyanto. Gilang has about 10 years of experience on various kinds of technologies. He also has two patents uh, that have already been approved. We also have uh, advisors with uh, Ian Hang. Uh, one of our main advisors is the former Chief Operations Officer for General Motors. Um, we have Dr. Uh, Musa Bello, is the Director for Innovations at Huawei. We also have Isaac Mwangi, former, uh, former General Manager for Toyota Chuso East Africa. We also have, uh, uh, we also have uh, Robert, uh, Robert, who is the current CTO for Liquid Telecom and the Chairman for Liquid Telecom, Ben Robert. Okay, thank you very much. Owen, I'd just like to point out, maybe Thomas has a follow-up question here, but before we do, um, Owen, you've just been contacted in the chat by the other Axel, Perrier, and he would like to send some questions to you a bit later, just so that you, uh, for yourself and the audience, to note that there are questions in the chat as well. Um, Thomas, did you have a follow-up question there? I sort of jumped in. Yeah, in terms of the 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 team which is which you mentioned, are they working 100% on the venture currently, or no. is it? Is it a part-time thing? Hello? Hello, I can hear you come again. I believe you said he wants to know, is the team working part-time or are they, are they working full-time, fully invested in? Uh, my whole team is all working in the company full-time. We don't have any part-time in the company. All are giving 100%, 110% to the company. Okay. Yes. Okay. So my whole team is in-house. Thank you. Thank you, Dan. Thank you, Dan. Okay. Maritza has a question. I have a question in regard, because I see you, uh, one of your uh, team members is in Singapore. May I ask where is your company incorporated? The company is incorporated in Nairobi, Kenya. Okay, thanks. So it's an African kind of startup that is trying to disrupt the entire automotive industry with a lot of vision whereby we're building the platform to be, the next version of the platform is going to be appear to be aware by even the existing car owners are going to be able to purchase or renew their insurance services through the same platform. So we are trying to offer a one-stop shop for the entire automotive industry. The only thing that we're not doing is the purchases of sales of cars, of cars or automobiles. But we are looking at the after-sales service where our bread and butter is. 
the after sale of uh, the industry. Excellent. Okay, thank you very much. I see that our next speaker has already showed up on the screen. So welcome, Eddie, to the uh, to our conference today. Uh, thank you very much, Owen, for your comments, also for your pitch. And so I believe. Don't... Sorry. So there is no voting today. Is that right? That's a good question. Are you going to be voting right now? We have one minute. <laughs> Excellent. I think we should. Okay, go ahead. Let's go. Yeah, uh, perhaps a little bit in, in regards of the voting. Uh, we do it one to four. So one needs a lot of work. Four is, uh, how can I send you the check? No, that's not, not true. <laughs> yeah. Okay, let's, uh, Douglas, I give it big to you. <laughs> so sorry. It's a four from my side. We have a three, three, and a four. Very well done, Owen. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Nothing, huh? nothing like immediate yeah. feedback. Excellent. Thank you very much to our judges. And so thank you, Marita, for jumping in and allowing the voting to take place live. There's nothing quite like feedback, especially when it's positive and immediate.